That's amazing. Hello, everyone. There's their sessions that have been set up by Inspiring Indian Women, um, just an amazing platform, as you all know. My name's Soma. I'm the host for today. And I'm really excited because we've got two fantastic people who we're going to be um, informing you about today. Um, the first one I'll introduce to her um, in a bit, but I'm really um, excited to kind of find out more. Have we lost Solma? Looks like, yeah, she's uh, frozen. Okay, so no worries. So while Solma will be back very soon. So we have today Sharanya Bhardwaj here. And Sharanya is going to talk about uh, her, all her dreams, what she's been doing. And I'm, I, when I was reading your profile, I was stunned, Sharanya. Or about her. All these you're doing for film stars and all, uh, everything, everybody, you know, YouTube I channels. all those people. Yeah, Solma, are you here? Solma, I am here. Can you? We lost you in between. We oh, you did off. you? Sorry, apologies. Yeah. My so wife. Now. Yeah. Uh, which 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 bit did you hear me? Where, oh where did I cut off? <laughs> just the beginning. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just speaking about Sharenia and saying how great oh, she is. Yeah. Really. You can repeat. You can repeat whatever you say. I will repeat as long as everyone can hear me now. Give me yeah. Just interrupt if you can't because I won't know. Yeah, I can okay. see you. All. Yeah. <laughs> So yes, the lovely Sharonia lives in Ireland and is a YouTuber whose YouTube channel is Celebrations with Sharon. So I'm really excited to find out more about what that is about. Um, she's also quite a creative person with a great sense of humor and her aims are to cascade the rich traditional um, and heritage values of India to the younger generation through her videos. So that's quite inspiring actually. Um, she also provides translation support to the popular musician Kuldeep Bai's YouTube channels, Vande Guru Param Param releases. And that involves research and learning of the great works of the saints, um, and then to basically translate that into English and ensuring that basically it's reachable to the younger generation. Um, she's also a teacher in, I can't pronounce this word, so excuse me if I get it wrong, but Balagokalam, educating children of chants, shloklas, and other Indian values. And in 2018, SPINI, a private business company in India, selected her as the Inspire face of their Spirit Women Empowerment Program. So again, very impressive stuff. She's also been a freelance writer, news correspondent, British South Indians. Um, she's also been an RJ in an Irish-based Tamil online radio, a Reiki master, a traditions and cultural enthusiast, a decent cook and apparently a bathroom singer. So I don't know if we're gonna get her to sing here. Maybe she can show us some of her little bathroom singing voice. <laughs> um, but yeah, essentially she's just a really all rounder. She likes arts, crafts, painting on pebble stones to glass windows, stained glass painting. I mean, honestly, the list could go on. This, you know, Sharenia, you're truly, truly, you know, plethora of skills and talent here and then the best thing is you know the inspiring part and you know trying to kind of reach out to the younger generation and everything so I'm going to now hand over to you I've done enough of your tarif it's now your time <laughs> to do your own tarif and tell us more about what you do in your YouTube channel so sure. welcome to the show thank you so much thank you so much Ava, for introducing me and thank you Rashmi so much for you know bringing this idea, this is a unique idea, not all will have the heart to encourage others uh, because they would want to put their foot in the front and they would want to be the leaders and pioneers. But you know, it's a great uh, idea to be encouraging all the upcoming YouTubers. So um, am I with you? Is my uh, YouTube correct? Well, I can hear you, yes. All right. I hope everyone so else firstly, can. Firstly, Thank you so much for having me here. It's a great pleasure and honor to be, you know, talking about uh, the channel and our uh, aspiring dreams and goals as well. Thank you so much, Rashmi, for this. 
And yes, coming to the YouTube channel, uh, my channel is called as uh, Celebrations with Sharon. Uh, in short, it's called a CWS. And uh, it has a unique logo. It has a logo of uh, a peacock. And if you see the peacock's wing, uh, it resembles the shape of C and there is a dia or the lamp in between. And it resembles W, the flame of the lamp, it resembles W. Uh -huh. And then the head of the peacock is S. So CWS is the logo and it has beautiful uh, peacock as a logo. Did you design that logo yourself? Yes, I did, yes. yes and I where did. was your inspiration for that? Where did you come up with that idea for that kind of a logo? Where did that inspiration come from? Um, I think it was all uh, grace by grace. It's just the thought erupted one day all of a sudden. And I just called a uh, media graphic designer for this and I just uh, asked, him, asked him to do it. I just drew it in a paper and he did exactly the same as to you know how I imagined. So it came out really oh. well and I was quite uh, satisfied with the logo as well. Wow, amazing, amazing. So you created that yourself. So yeah, kudos to you, hats off. <laughs> Yes, this YouTube channel is just like another baby for me. Uh, it's been there in my mind, although it's been, uh, I've just recently started, I wouldn't say recently, it's about a year old now. So it's about one year now that I started this uh, channel. And basically, uh, right from the beginning, right from the beginning, I've been having this uh, simultaneous inclination towards philosophy, uh, which is uh, you know, passing out uh, rich tradition culture to others, just not kids, but also to others mm -hmm. who are not aware of these things, the richness mm -hmm. of the culture. Mm -hmm. Plus, uh, it's by sheer God's grace that I have this good sense of humor, which has been uh, my USP, you know, of the channel. And uh, people watch videos only to, you know, have that relaxation because philosophy could be a bit boring. Uh, because when you come to Indian values and this, not all might get uh, attracted as much as they get attracted to Bollywood dance or mm. the normal shopping videos or all these things, because it requires a lot of research behind it. Not all might get interested. So this flavor of viewing uh, through humor and creativity, if you just look at my videos, a lot of colors and a lot of props around and a lot of handmade stuff. And uh, right from hand painting, I dress up myself uh, for this uh, recently, uh, I did Tandai video. I made recipe of Tandai, wherein I dressed up as uh, Lord Shiva in that. <laughs> I came as Lord Shiva. <laughs> yeah. So I can just show you the photo. If, uh, that's yes, please. I can show it for my phone. Uh, yeah, go so for it. I just please dressed do up show as, us. Uh, sorry? Yeah, so please do show us. That would be nice. Let us see. That would be amazing. Can I just pull out one uh, quickly? Uh, just bear with me. Yeah, that's okay. Because uh... So yeah, it's something very unique then what your YouTube channel is offering, I would imagine. I mean, um, I, I, sure I haven't double checked, but I'm sure there's nothing like that. I actually remember this picture. It rings a bell. I've seen it. It's been, it's circulated. So yeah, that's so amazing. So you took yourself up. <laughs> You, yes, you dressed yes, yourself I did myself. So I dressed up as uh, Lord Shiva and uh, I did one uh, air for uh, uh, Krishna Jayanti as well, Krishna's birth. I did a lot of creative stuff in that. So there too, I dressed up as Krishna. So people were so happy, they were surprised because beyond an age, you know, you would be yeah. skeptical about getting dressed up uh, into something, you know, the fancy dress and all that. As a child, you might like doing it, but once you're grown up, you have that, you get back into your shell. You might not be interested in getting dressed up. So after seeing all these, there was a lot of kids and a lot of adults who came and said, you know, this is really inspiring. So uh, even Krishna was really good as, this, as much as this is, uh, divine that was uh, that had a cuteness factor in that yeah it was uh, really colorful and just like krishna so with the flute and all that so um and yeah. it is a lot of uh, uh, craft activities i do a lot of painting and uh, creative stuff chicken uh, creating uh, new stuff out of nothing yeah i made a ganesha out of bulb you know it's made uh -huh. out of bulb and uh, there are a few stuff uh, uh, made of nothing just convert it's like more of upcycling things so those things are also a part of my videos just not the uh, spiritual aspects and the divine aspect when it comes as a package you know it becomes very light for the people you know they enjoy mm -hmm. it and you know 
having uh, to get through the real heavy stuff. But there is a moral message and there is something to take away in every video. That's what I target. Since this has been a part and parcel of my life since childhood, this uh, spirituality and, uh, you know, I've been exposed to these things right from childhood and a bit of philosophy now. And uh, I've been having, you know, a lot of, uh, a few VIPs uh, coming into my life. One such is uh, Dr. Kuldeep Bhai. He's a uh -huh. young, youngster who has about 2 million subscribers at the moment uh, in YouTube. So uh, he's got a firm holding in YouTube and there are a lot of uh, subscribers. So I do the translation for his channel. Uh, mm. A monthly release of songs every month. Uh, so, you know, and all the songs are written by great saints and uh, poets of India. Say wow. Like, so it could be Vaishnava Janato, it could be a patriotic song, or it could be a devotional song, it could be a bhajan, or it could be anything. And it could be across pan-India, any language. So once the song is chosen, the lyrics are given to me. So I get deep and I get uh, into talking to people, talking, because I, I don't know all the language. If it's a Telugu song, if it's a Marathi song, it could be a Malayalam song, or some song in Bengali, it could be any song. So we get into the scholars of each of the languages, and most of them are in Sanskrit. So Sanskrit is quite tough and it's a quite challenging. Yes. Language. So uh, to get into the intricacies of the language, we, there are a lot of splits and all that. So we'll have to learn. Um, there's a lot of learning involved. So we talk to many scholars and we understand the meaning. And, you know, we'll have to put it in such a way it comes as subtitles uh, on, the, on, the, on the video. Yeah. So we'll have to ensure that it's short and crisp. Not giving stories, you know, of uh, uh, too explanations. Many you need the quiet. direct translations. Yes. Yeah, just direct. And we maintain the uh, expression of the original writer as well. Now he could have written as uh, "Ho, O Krishna," or he could have written as uh, "Krishna's legs are so pretty." You know, it could be direct mm. tense or indirect ones. We'll have to find out the exact mood and expression of the writer and bring them into the. Uh, translation bit. It takes about seven to eight times of, you know, back and forth of conversations and all that before we release each song. Yeah. So it's but that's good to know because it means you've done your research and what you're putting out there is accurate because that's a key thing, isn't it? If you're going to be, um, you know, getting that message across and ensuring that you're, in a way, you're teaching people, right? It's people like even myself who wouldn't have a clue. So we're going to take true. what you've put down as that's true what you've exactly. written. So yeah, I would imagine you have to ensure what that's you're what, doing is correct. Exactly. Yeah. As you rightly said, Summer, because many of them are learning. It has a huge, about 2 million subscribers. So many of them, they learn from it. Many schools, they learn from looking at these songs. So it's a huge responsibility to be conveying the right meaning as well. Apart yeah. from giving the right music and pronunciation, he takes care of that. Yeah. But when it comes to translation bit, it's it's quite a responsibility. Yeah. And now, so am um, I correct that you've got so there's two aspects to your YouTube channel that you're involved in. There's the one which you do through um, the, I've forgotten how to say it now, the uh, Param Param, correct? And then yeah, there's the yeah. one that you do your own one, which is um, the one with Sharon. With Sharon. Celebration with Sharon. Yeah. That's it. I was like, yeah. where's my notes gone? Celebrations with Sharon. So basically... <laughs> Um, so I guess with celebrations with Sharon as well, um, in terms of that is, you know, why, so I guess to the public out there, what kind of people would subscribe to your channel and why, what would they get from subscribing to that channel? Anybody who would like to understand the value of Indian roots and culture and who loves humor, who loves creativity, who loves colors and who loves just, you know, as the name says, it's just about celebration. You just watch the channel and a lot of learning in it. You know, you, you don't have, because there's so many people who do, um, you know, as we, we were discussing earlier, we have people taking us to the mall and showing us what's there in the, uh, uh, what's there in the shop and, you know, how much it's priced for and what's the discount rate and what, uh, you know, uh, just showing the streets, showing the trees, uh, showing your kitchen organizing and all that. There are so many people who are doing that. And same with cooking as well. There's so many people who do that. But this could be a unique channel wherein you learn something through humor and creativity. Mm -hmm. about, there's a lot of effort involved behind every video. And I take my time, take about one month per video. So there's a lot of effort wow. behind it. 
because yeah. uh, um, because my intention is to give the right stuff you know to give a quality stuff to people than just you know uploading st stuff and just getting subscribers i do need subscribers yeah. i want uh, uh, i do need subscribers because i want this matter to reach many of them because yes. uh, that's the reason i came to youtube because my voice can be heard by many of them exactly and internationally as well not just exactly. sort of on a local level or yeah, yeah. absolutely and one more thing salma uh, we are living away from india there could be parents who are struggling to make their children utter at least just one name of uh, you know to bring in indian values or just say sing one bhajan or sang sing one shloka mm. they could be really struggling to bring their child so once they see this video the child is neither you know forced to do it but really inspired because i've had many children here who send messages directly to me saying aunty this was really good i would Aww. like to talk to my mom and i would like to do this because my daughters and son too they appear in the videos so when they see them do if they can do why not us they have yes. that feeling as well yeah and they do that uh, because a lot of humor in it a lot of creativity in it so yeah. uh, they really get inspired so if the parents really want their children to get uh, involved in this or just forget the kids even the parents themselves they want to get in touch with the indian roots there are many aspects which we are not aware of so if they yes. could subscribe to my channel you know slow and steady you yeah. get a lot of inputs um, through my channel yeah like you said it's a very rich culture and heritage isn't it like i'm pretty I, i'm pretty sure that not everyone can claim they know everything about all of the heritage and all of the history and all of that culture and you know at the end of the day even if you did to see it in a different light in like you said in that sort of humor or you know where it's creative or to see you dress up and come and say this is how we do this or this is how we celebrate this it's just something different and it's something nice rather than someone sitting there and yeah they're explaining it as a story or sometimes they have animation but i've watched That's a right. few videos with them my own um my friend's daughter and even i find them a bit boring no offense and i'm like oh when is this video going to finish you know? so actually it's nice so i'm going to definitely be now pulling up yours to see her reaction and i'll 100% message you and give you you know let you know but i'm based on what you're saying i'm quite excited to show this to her now i think she's going to absolutely love it wow. um, and especially yes, in uk you know i think um people struggle to get their kids to take an interest in that culture and to exactly. learn. they learn from it based on what's happening on everyday basis but not to go and research or to watch something you know the kids are more interested in i don't know gaming that is yes. this that the other the latest program that's out then they go to school and speak english and with the western kids and it's fine but i agree with you like we want to keep that that value and heritage alive so this is an yes. amazing platform Precisely. yeah yeah initially when i started the video i just did the first two videos in my mother tongue then i realized that you know uh, there are many children watching it there are many parents watching it once my group here so i just switched on to english from there on so yeah i can hear you sorry i'm like intrigued i'm listening to you go on are you frozen all right because we yeah, can hear you some uh... is okay, it me great, great. okay oh, okay go on, go for it <laughs> Sorry about that. I just uh, saw you freezing for a bit, so I thought. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, My Wi-Fi is awful. I can't tell you. <laughs> Go ahead. No carry problem on. at all. No problem. So uh, yeah, first I did my first two videos in my language, which is Tamil. So uh, then I realized that many of them, the many children watching it. So many children being away from India, be it in UK or Ireland, when they watch, I thought you know it's more conveying to them when I speak in English. so i switched yes. over to english so the rest of the videos are in english so any child you know it's very easy for them to grasp and uh and a channel is you know is more conveying when we represent what we actually do you know when i don't do something at home and when i don't practice something or you know just for the sake of the channel when i do something it won't be impactful no this is been no. this humor and creativity and this all this uh, indian values and all that has been a part of me and i ensure that my kids speak in our mother tongue uh, at home they don't speak english at home and with their friends they are quite uh, comfortable speaking in english and all that yeah but i'm sure that they speak our language our mother tongue when we are at home even if they speak in english i don't reply to them i say you speak <laughs> you speak our language so when we ensure these things at home you know 
uh, it reflects because they are quite, my son and daughter, both of them are quite uh, comfortable in pronunciation of Sanskrit language and uh, both Tamil and Sanskrit. So when they come on screen and when they recite something, the other kids really get inspired. The other mother get, gets inspired. So that yeah. has been happening. I've been getting a lot of feedback about it. Uh, that, you know, when people are moving away from our culture, it's a good thing that you're bringing them back through your videos. Yes. Uh, my thing is, my aim is to, you know, at least in Ireland, I would like to become the uh, Indian values ambassador, something like that. Yeah. So, you know, um, people know that at, because there are not many of them. I would say, uh, at least in UK, there are a few of them who follow all these. But in uh, Ireland, there are actually none of them. Uh, no, absolutely. They're imagine. Away from the country, they're completely into, uh, yeah, in other more of Western. Uh, Westernization. Yeah, I can imagine. I, what I would say to you is like, I'm hoping that this platform here and this opportunity that Rashmiji has given and that she gives to many people, you know, I, I hope that's going to help your subscribers go up for sure. Um, and I think, you know, with if you keep to your um, values and keep, like you said, you know, you're not just doing it for the sake of getting views or for the sake of, you know, you put that effort, that research into it. And I think if you stick to that, and you keep that and don't lose vision of that, you'll always succeed. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, being part of like groups like Inspiring Indian Women, you know, it's nice because you've got that support. And, you know, I know that people from this group have always, in my opinion, always been so supportive. It's just such a beautiful group to be part of. So hoping this will also help you out. I'm conscious of time. So I want to say to you, thank you so much for coming today um i don't know if anybody has any questions or if rashmi ji you want to ask sharanya anything before we um go um i haven't got my facebook live open because then what's happening is it's causing my um connection here to go funny so <laughs> i'm just uh on here so i'm not sure if anyone's made comments but you can always check afterwards and we can always send you any um questions your way as well um but yes thank you so much for uh coming here today and thank you so much sharing with you yes um thank you so much Sam. it was a pleasure talking to you i didn't feel like i was talking to a new person you were like so comfortable you made me so comfortable thank you so much oh that's okay I, I i genuinely enjoyed speaking to you as well i really did so thank you as well for making my life easy as well so, <laughs> so thank you uh, i think rashmi is here i think she's on herself i just herself. wanted to uh, ask sharanya to put the youtube link on the comments uh, part here even in on zoom as well as on facebook live and uh, promote yourself, your YouTube channel, um, wherever you can, as much as possible. And uh, we would like you to come back again, maybe for a session on teaching how to do YouTube. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. We do that. <laughs> yes. Why not? I do that. hundred no percent. We would love that. And actually, no it'd be problem. nice to see your children as well. So feel free to bring them. They can give us some tips because clearly they've been doing stuff with you. So why not? Yeah. Let's have them as well. Of course. Of yeah. course. It'll be a pleasure. I'll do that next time. The South, Southern ladies are all, in, you know, they have this knack of YouTube. I've seen many of you all from Chennai, from Karnataka, a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of ladies. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. I think uh, I'm not even sure if people have a bank card in India, but all of them have a YouTube now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really? Um, That's mad. <laughs> and uh, one more thing, Saranya, um, you are a dubbing artist, is it? Or translator, right? Translator, yeah, I do translate. Trans okay, you translate for uh, film stars or, uh, you know, something like that? Uh, That's a spiritual Hassan. channel, actually. It's more of... Uh, it's more okay. of the works written by saints and mahans and rishis. Uh, so it's the works written by Saint Tyagraja or say Annamacharya or oh, say... Oh, oh, oh. Um, you will yeah. translate it. You can translate yeah. it. Yeah. Or it could yeah. be Rabindranath Tagore. Uh, yeah. Okay. It could be anyone yeah, across India. All the saints and uh, great writers of India. I have to say, I was amazed when you were saying all the languages and you, you were saying, you know, especially Sanskrit and, you know, then you've got, I mean... I struggle with Hindi alone and there's so many dialects just within that. Then you've got Sanskrit, like you said, and then all the South Indian languages and, you know, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm amazed, honestly, like hats off to you. And like you said, it's not something that 
you were born with and you you weren't born with it but I mean it's not something that you just know you do have to go and find out you have to go and speak to people who speak a particular language to find out what is this translation is this what this means and you know so I was amazed when you were saying that because I mean I'm not from I'm not from India I'm from my parents are from Mauritius so I speak Mauritian Creole and I've learned bo- oh, wow. um, Hindi through Bollywood. So when I speak Hindi, my Hindi sounds like I'm in a Bollywood movie. Everyone laughs. laughs. So I understand it. And then I have Punjabi friends. So they speak Punjabi and I understand it. And then I've got Bengali friends. So I understand it. I cannot speak it, only Hindi. So I know how hard it is. So, you know, it's I know, you actually talk. sound like Bhelpuri, you know, you're a combination of everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 100%. So if one day you want a comedy show speaking Hindi with Soma, then this is the place to come. <laughs> but no, on a serious a note, though, seriously, you. you know, amazing job to you, Sharanya. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I would just like to add one line before I, because I want to mention his name as well. Uh, yes. There is a great screenplay writer in uh, Tamil who's worked with uh, Kamal Hassan in many movies. He's not live anymore. So I got to interview him once and, you know, from there on his journey has been with him uh, for a long time. And he used to call me his female version. So that was, you know, he used to write to me saying that I'm his female version because he had, he's known for his humor. And uh, whenever he calls me his female version, you know, it's like getting something more than an Oscar. So uh, I, I just wanted to mention that because he's, yeah. Yeah. I just want to give my tribute, my love to him. That, that's a really big compliment. It's a great compliment, so of course. And yes, you should be proud of that. Uh, uh, thanks for sharing that story as well, in fact. So yes, it'd be nice if one day we could actually meet in person. Like, I know you're in Ireland, yeah. I'm in London, but anytime, welcome to meet Please up. And hopefully when Rashmi comes from India, we can all meet somehow. It would be nice. Of course. <laughs> yes. So please do come. So I'm just one hour away from each other. So. Please after after this nonsense is over, <laughs> after this COVID nonsense <laughs> is gone, but actually, in a way, I'm not gonna. I'm, not, I'm conscious of time, but in a way, COVID, in a way, yeah. has actually helped people to bring their um, platforms, social platforms, and YouTube channels and things like that to light. Because I think, as you know, I don't know if that's your experience, experience but more so, people are now turning to these. Um, online platforms to do things, to learn things, which whereas before they'd look for workshops or they'd look for classes and they'd physically go. And now I think it's given people that opportunity to really um, kind of push that side of things. Have you found that your, um, you know, do you think COVID impacted your um, YouTube channel in a positive way, perhaps? It could be in a way, yes. Uh, I would say in terms of subscriptions, because uh, all the celebrities have come to YouTube now because they're no longer shooting. Um, yes. Personally, they've all moved to YouTube. And just in one day, you can see a subscribers count uh, soaring up to 1 million for just, uh, you know, the celebrities. But yeah. I'm still struggling at 350 somewhere because I would like this to reach. It's not about monetizing or all this because I genuinely want this to reach many of them. Because uh, we take so much effort to convey the values of Indian values, which many of them might not be aware of. So mm. uh, this is what my request is. If somebody wa- is watching this, and if they feel any connection with me, they are, you know, I would encourage them to subscribe to my channel, which is Celebrations with Sharon. I would share the link here and also in the Facebook. Absolutely. Um, we've got a message from Sarin, uh, oh, me, 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 my pronunciations, bear with me. Sari Kahanda has said, really interesting and very impressive. So that's a nice little positive comment for Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. What I would say to everyone is straight away, don't say I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it later, because I know you won't and you'll forget. <laughs> straight away, open up that little tab and subscribe to her YouTube channel, please. Like, let's get this out, let's get this spread, let's support the lovely Sharonia. Um, that's my request to you as well. And thank you for joining and watching her. Um, thank you. Wh- thank you, Sharanya. Um, and we're going to um, wrap it up with Sharanya and introduce our next, next guest. But Sharanya, again, once again, thank you. Thank you.
Amazing. Wow, that was really inspiring. Like, I really enjoyed speaking to Sharonya, like, genuinely. I mean, I can talk anyway, but any of you who have watched my host shows with uh, that Rashmi G provides me, but I did actually really enjoy um, speaking with Sharonya, and I found it very um, in inspiring, as always. Um, but, yeah, I, I do agree with everything that she's doing. I, I, I like that, promoting that value and culture. Anyhow, so our next guest. So we've got D Bolly Dance here today with us. They're a dance company who was actually established quite recently in January 2021. Um, and we've got Drew with us today, who I'll pass you on to in a moment. Um, but he's been in the dance and performing arts industry for the last 15 years and been training people in the UK since 2006. Um, at peak periods, so I'm assuming this is before COVID and everything, he was running up to 10 classes per day, and he's been part of various performances and shows. He's choreographed um, Gourmet Dance, which was part of Trafalgar Square for Matt, the Mayor of London's annual Diwali function, which is a very big um, platform in, here in London. Um, during the lockdown, when everyone was kind of, you know, we were all feeling lonely and going through um, a lot of stress, that's when Drew and his friends came up with the idea to set up D Bollywood Dance as a platform for people to de-stress and, and I guess dance really through dance and fitness. Um, I will let him tell you more about his classes um, in a bit, but he's the instructor and he has a colleague, Dimple, who's also one of um, the admins for it and helps out and supports him and does all the social media and admin and things like that. Um, so yes, I am going to pass you on to um, Drew here, who's, I can see is dressed up in some sort of um, fitness dance gear. So I've, I've actually met Drew before, funnily enough, at that same um, Trafalgar Square um, meeting. So it's nice to see you again, Drew. How are you? Are you okay? Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, hi, I'm good. Thank you. Uh, can you see, can you hear me? I, I can see you, yep. I can see your lovely um, wall background as well, your wall mural and um, your sweatband and everything like that. So yeah, welcome to um, this platform some, today. A little bit of dance, bringing you a little bit of dance. So first of all, a very, very much thank you to Inspiring Indian Women and especially uh, Rashmi Ji and Solma for bringing this up. And my colleague Dimple, can't forget her, and the admin team, which is uh, here as well. So, and first of all, I'll wish all the viewers a happy Mother's Day, which is today. And I feel very lucky that we are being here to bring something on a Mother's Day. And a little bit of dance as well, which I'm not going to miss. I'm going to make you dance here. So if you're watching <laughs> live, do some little bit moves you can get up and it's going to be easy. Won't be sweaty, sweaty. Don't worry about this. Drew, I'm going to do it from sitting, yeah, because like I don't oh, have yeah. the space, I'd have to move my laptop, so I will sit down definitely, and do it. <laughs> you can do sitting, you can do standing. Uh, <laughs> so let me just introduce myself. Uh, my name's Drewville, Drewville Chauhan. I am from Deepoli Dance. Um, basically, I'm from India. I've been in this country since uh, been more than 14 years. Um, we've recently set up this company. Uh, just in 2021 on a very special day 14th of January which we started launched the first classes uh, it was a time of uh, lockdown so we made it a special special free sessions for everyone and we had an amazing response like we had people joining in from different countries you name it we can have US Canada Australia Europe India Pakistan Bangladesh Sri Lanka I know the time zones are different but we still yeah. managed because we tried a morning session, evening session, and we had like more than 600 people, members who ad took advantage of these free sessions. So we did easy dance uh, things, and especially it was for the fitness and, you know, the lockdown where this happens. So um, I have been trained in Bollywood, uh, traditional, semi-classical uh, folk dances all the way from India. Um, in here, I am a certified Zumba instructor and a fitness uh, instructor level two qualified. So I run Bollywood classes for kids, adults. Uh, we do Zumba sessions for ladies. Um, and then I run classes in the gym, for which was before. Mm. But, uh, yes, so nice I, and fit and qualified yeah. as well, which is important. That's right. Yeah. yeah. 
and uh, we work with a professional team so I do choreograph and do performances events um, we do uh, weddings um, all kinds of small to big events and I do choreograph for families and uh, wedding couples and all the dances so that's a little bit background and um, as we as I said we just started recently so we started with three three sessions and it was really really nice response and then we've just moved as we came out of the lockdown we've recently started different classes going from kids to adults uh, especially ladies where moms are especially needed a little bit of time for themselves which is dancing and mm -hmm. I would say a happy member of the family brings happiness in the whole family and especially when it comes to moms and ladies uh, which I can see especially from Dimple who's my colleague um, I can say my family member sister and that's where I see the difference and we started spreading so the idea especially came from there only when we thought of last year when everything went into lockdown and I had nothing so I thought like let's just relax chill um, and then it was a nice enjoying time went okay okay but as the time passed we thought like lockdown will get finished finish finish but it didn't and it started no. extending yeah so yeah it was a bit difficult when it started dragging and i would say myself even i put on weight because no dancing nothing chilling relaxing watching movies okay let's enjoy but yeah then it was a bit uh, boring as well and you know how dance feels uh, so yes. you also dance so yes. you know that literally the feeling and the enjoyment and the happiness brings dance. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I totally agree with you. I, I felt the same thing as well, because obviously, as you rightly said, dance kind of quiet and down. There's no show bookings, none of that stuff. Like you, yeah. put on a bit of the way. And as dancers, you know, we're used to kind of looking and feeling quite fit, right? Um, but yeah, absolutely. And like, you know, I think one of the things that kept me sane throughout lockdown is actually dancing. And I've been like loving creating my dance videos, filming them up, popping them up on Instagram and things. Um, it, it's kind of like you said, it's that feel good factor. You put the time aside. It's that form of exercise. It releases those happy, you know, the happy um, serotonin levels go up. You, you feel better within yourself. All that stress that you're feeling and that laziness, it just goes from your body. So yeah, exactly. totally understand. Yeah. yeah. So the advantages of dance is like so many. If we go into detail, it's like unbelievable one can't even think about what we do after dancing um the main thing i am bringing is bollywood style which you, which as everyone knows it comes from india uh it brings the indian culture as well all the traditional things so it's something where people love doing it and when they see watching dancing colorful things movies now the bollywood movies have gone so popular so that's where uh we bringing in and then I mix in uh, fitness style and the Zumba. So we have different, different styles, but my main style is Bollywood. And that's where we named as the Bollies dance. So the Bollywood is specific, which I love. Filmy, drama, expressive. And that's something which I enjoy doing. Am, am I frozen? I'm... I think your screen's uh, gone, yeah. Is it me who's freezing? I'll, I'll switch off my video just in case. Can everyone else see Dhruv okay? Yeah, so uh, we uh, do Bollywood dancing and like when um, we do classes, I have different classes as I say, so from kids to adults and each class I've uh, planned it differently. So I would say Bollywood dance for kids, they learn the language, which is Hindi. So we try and bring the culture, the language, as well as they're gonna dance. So the fitness comes automatically, but bringing that Bollywood style, it's something which I enjoy teaching and they love dancing to it. And especially when it comes to ladies, like they are uh, at home, they're managing family, they have lots of to, things to do, but when it comes to dancing, at least they feel a little bit of distressful feeling of joy. And the main thing we give them perform a chance to perform, bringing normal people to uh, feel like stars. So uh, bring your dancing factor, bring your expression to drama, and yes, you are like a superstar when you dance. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you, Drew, quickly? So at yeah. the moment, 
are your classes um, remaining online? Is it going to be a mixture? How what, how can people access your classes? Um, sorry, I think I uh, got cut off uh, classes and then I didn't hear. And so much frozen. Okay, um, regarding classes. Yeah, I have uh, frozen, sorry. <laughs> yeah. uh, regarding classes, we are doing uh, Bollywood Zumba fitness, uh, Bhangra fitness classes. So all the classes at the moment are running online. We are based in East London, but we're going to start, um, as the venue is open, we're going to start spreading out at different places, as well as doing face-to-face -face sessions. But at the moment, we're doing online sessions. So we have kids from the age of four, we start classes and upwards. So all age groups are different. So we have Bollywood classes for kids. Then we do Zumba classes. Uh, we do Bollywood Bhangra Fitness, uh, which is for the ladies as well as um, we do adult, uh, so professional team, uh, which is a dance training and for performances. So that's completely different. Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, uh, she's... Yeah, so Uma is, yeah. I think she's frozen or I can't see her. Anyway, Hello, so, sorry, uh, I'm trying to just my internet just keeps going funny i don't even know why i'm so so sorry uh rashmi if you're there feel free to sort of jump in while i'm uh sorting out yeah, this yeah that's issue. completely fine solma uh, uh yes uh Dhruv, uh tell us something about your youtube channel like what does it show what is okay, there um, to so watch yes, and subscribe uh, especially yes youtube channel um We've just recently started, so we're trying to make some videos bringing out, especially the ladies. We have done performances. I know it's everyone at home, so we've tried and captured the videos. But we're bringing on to YouTube, so go and subscribe. Like, uh, it's The Bolly Dance on YouTube. We have Instagram, Facebook, uh, same name. But definitely you'll see videos um, bringing the videos for adults i'm gonna make short videos to dance which is easy to follow and you'll see it on the youtube but definitely go and subscribe so we can dance it together i know it's the time can do a different thing but yes on youtube you'll find the video so definitely subscribe okay thank you apologies for my connection but i know rashmi took over, rashmi ji took over so thanks for sharing that so yes you wanted to do a quick little um workshop yes, right that's that's right yes uh, let's do a little bit of planting um it's gonna be easy i'm not gonna show any moves but i'm sure you can follow if you're, you want sitting down yes you can follow easily it's one of the really happy tracks of the bollywood which everyone would recognize and i've got a little bit of zumba flavor as well so okay. let's do a little bit of mix of everything Right, so those of you at home watching from Facebook, join in. We can't see you, so, you know, let your hair down and join in. This is your chance. Yeah. So it will be from Bollywood Bhangra to Zumba to Garba. And definitely don't miss out the expressive part. Let's hit the track. You hear the music? Some 
energy, it's definitely a bit of workout. And light bulbs, that's right.
sitting down doing it so you know <laughs> yes that was nice was thank especially, you especially for moms all right today's mother's day so i hope you all enjoyed um if all the moms because we've tried in the classes moms are joining with the kids especially right and throughout the whole sessions we've been running since january we've all seen all the family members get involved when they see moms dancing the kids come and dance so it's always the moms are inspiring for all the kids. Absolutely, absolutely. That was a very enjoyable session and a nice taster to, you know, what your classes would be like. So yes, very entertaining. And, you know, one thing I was always taught is that you can't really be sad when you're dancing, you know, unless if it's a really sad song, but majority of the times, you know, the songs we dance to are very happy and, you know, you can't help but smile and you hear your favorite song and you get that energy, you know, Bollywood music just has that about it, isn't it? So, you know, even if you feel really down, get up and dance, it makes the world of difference. Yeah. Feel that magic of dancing, what you get it after. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So yes, thank you for um, giving us that taster. I'm sure um, we'll be putting, um, maybe uh, Dimple can put in the chat and on the fight Facebook live chat, the link to where we can find your YouTube um, videos and your, um, you know, dance classes and things like that. So people know where to go and find them. I, I my, my um, internet cut off when you were explaining, but I caught bits and pieces. So I believe you said you post those videos up on YouTube, so they're available there. Yeah. And I think you were talking about that you do in-person classes and live, but at the moment, the in-person is not happening. Yeah, Sorry, I did cut out, so I won't ask you to repeat, but, you know. Uh, yeah, that's that's correct. Uh, well, it's not yet started, but yeah, we'll be starting soon, all the in-person classes. Till then, we have all uh, online sessions uh, from kids to adults. Um, maybe a while, we're going to start opening up the classes, and it will be in different places so even if you are based in west london north london south london i am based we are based in east london so we'll be starting in this area as well and going a bit further we have uh orpington going to kent uh going up towards midlands uh, milton Keynes, uh cambridge so it's been different different places hopefully uh whosoever was there on the on live at the moment hopefully we'll see you as well either online or in person doing the dancing absolutely yes so please please people go check out um d bolly dances uh, youtube channels and their facebook pages and all their social media avenues and as i said i'm sure dimple will pop it all up in the chat on the facebook live and on here so anyone can access that after um but yes, Drew, so thank you for sort of, uh, you know, being inspired to set this up um, as a result of sort of COVID and how people were feeling over lockdown and things like that. Um, you know, I, I know that there's a lot out there in terms of dance and fitness and things like that. But I do think it's important that people choose the ones who they feel the most comfortable with, the ones that they enjoy the most. What I would say to people is try um, a variety of different um sessions or, or youtube ones and then see where what fits with you and what you like doing and you know you can do a mixture that's the beauty of online you know you can do 
um, G Bolly dances ones. You could do like I've done some from India, which has been amazing because I would never have had that platform to do that before. So it's been amazing learning from dancers in India. It's like wow, you know. Um, but equally, there's the ones here as well. So. I think with online, it really opens up doors and it allows people to do as many as they like and with whoever they like. So um, yes, uh, thank you, um, Dee Bolly Dance and Dhruv and Dimple for um, you know bringing sessions to women and their homes and fitness and things like that. So yeah. Thank you, thank you. Anything, anything you'd like to add? To bring its accessible dance to each and everyone. Doesn't matter if you want to sit and dance, uh, we do, um, I mean, I've worked with uh, disabled people and uh, currently working on a project as well, which will be out soon. So keep checking out. Um, it's especially uh, with disabled people. And uh, so like you can sit, um, you standing, dancing, but we want to make it ex the dance accessible to each and every person where yeah. you can reach out. So hopefully, uh, thank Amazing. you for this platform as well. Uh, we're going to reach out to maximum people where we can. And I hope so. Kind of definitely opens up to so many things. So thank you yeah. so much. Uh, Soloma as well, Rashmi G, Inspiring Indian Women, uh, a very nice platform where you're inspiring everyone to bring these things up. Uh, and I'm sure who all are watching, enjoyed the dance. And we'll see on the Facebook, Instagram, as well as YouTube. Especially if you haven't, then go and subscribe the page. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So you heard Drew, you know, I don't need to say more. He said it all. So I hope you enjoyed it. And please do um, check him out and subscribe to the channels um, and support this uh, up and coming, I guess, dance school. So, yes. Um, and, and as well, like, you know, thinking of people of, of all, you know, people with disabilities, making it accessible for all. I think that's a really nice, um, uh, what's the word, aspiration. So yes, kudos to you and well done. And again, thank you Rashmi G for giving people this platform to speak about, you know, what they do to showcase their talent. So uh, yeah, thank you to Rashmi G as well. As always, you know, we love you so much. Honestly, you are so just, I don't know how you do it, Rashmi G, honestly. I don't know how you do it. You put on so many of these sessions, you link everyone together, you do extra work, you do stuff for the community. I mean, I can't keep up. I'll be honest with you. I can't keep up with what you do. It's truly amazing and inspiring. You're on mute, Rashmi G. <laughs> it's social media, social media. I'm just trying to take advantage of best advantage of social media. It's so easy to connect people. Yeah? It's quite easy. And moreover, I'm like, I'm not doing any job anymore. And I am just at home with my mother-in-law and elderly people. So I'm doing, all that I'm doing is inspiring Indian women. <laughs> yeah, you really are. And you know what? I'm happy to support you wherever I can. I mean, I so know much. I work a full-time job and I get yeah. busy at times, but where I can, I will and always... And you got teens, Solma, don't forget, you got huh? teens. My you daughter turned 18. Time. My daughter turned 18 oh. two weeks ago. Wow. And she's going off to uni in September and she's going to live wow. out. And I'm like, what? How? Like, you know? so, and uh, Ms. Solma, I was just thinking about, you know, you gave me an idea that let's have a, a special event uh, with dancers 40 plus and yeah. bring out the talent from them and let's see them all here on inspiring Indian women all 40 plus and 60 plus 70 plus dancers here on board so let's do that <laughs> yeah absolutely I'll definitely collaborate with you on that one we'll yeah. talk we'll sort that and, out yeah oh, and before we end you know because in uh, India it's Mother's Day I, yes. I know that there's no singer here right um, at the moment but I think Sarika sings well you know Sarika uh, Mamta pe, ma pe, kuch ya dhruv, if you have anything on ma I don't know ah, Sh I, Sharanya I sings as well <laughs> Sharanya sings okay Sharanya are you there okay Sarika yeah, Sharanya. go on Sarika you know what I've got really okay, bad throat. So I'm wow. not speak. I don't have it. I'm listening and typing. But, 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 but
Thank you. Sharanya, do you know anything? Sharanya, uh, do you want any uh, filmy songs or any uh, devotional like song? Anything, anything song? on Mother's Day. Anything that's from Mother's Day, from your heart. What would you Mother's like to? Day. Okay. Something for mums, yeah. Let's sing on the Divine Mother. This was huh. penned by uh, Adi Shankaracharya. Chalat koti bala ka bhasa runangim Sulavanya shingar shobha virama Mahapadma kinjar ka madhye virama Vikono le santim bhaje shri bhava Jamye varine sukarunya purne Hiranyo dharadhe raramye te purne Bhavarine bhitancha mamvai vate Namaste, 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 Bhavani. Namaste, 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 Bhavani. Namaste, 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 Bhavani. Wow, amazing. That was really lovely. Yeah, thank you. I didn't understand it, but it was beautiful. I got parts of it. I understood. I felt it. That's the key thing. I felt it. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. Yeah, it's, it's written in the Sanskrit, so it could not be conveying, but uh, still, uh, it's from a great saint. So it's on the mother goddess. So when we look at the divine factor in each of us, you know, we all become uh, pure. So that vision is what we need. Yeah, you know, amazing. When you, when you see the divine mother and others, there's no room for blaming others. There's no room for poking, you know, fun at others or poking their mistakes. I love that. Accepting love everything. That. So everybody, everybody is a mother, and there is motherhood in everyone, even the men. You know, they have the nature, mm -hmm. the nature of mother in the man. So when we start looking, everybody as divine mother then there is no scope for uh, grievances. Yeah, I love that. Happens. I love that notion. That's beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, because uh, you're absolutely right. So that was beautiful. Um, so Sarika says apologies that she couldn't sing because of her throat. She would have loved to. And compliment for a lovely show and a beautiful singing. Brilliant, Sharanya. So thank you, thank Sarika. You so we much. really appreciate your comments. Dimple said, I can sing two lines. My voice is not good. Why not? Go for it. Go for it, Dimple. Unmute <laughs> yourself and give us a song. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah, I can sing two lines uh, for Mother's Day. Tu kitni achi hai, tu kitni bholi hai, tu kitni pyari hai, oh ma. Piyari ma, oh ma, piyari ma. Tu kitni achi hai, tu kitni bholi hai, tu kitni piyari hai, oh ma, piyari ma. Va. Very nice. That was very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you yeah. so much, Rashmi Ji Sholma, for giving Deep Bolly Dance this opportunity. Thank you so, so much. It's okay. It's our pleasure. Thank you. And thanks for sharing that lovely song. That I did understand. Ma. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I understand that. <laughs> that was Bollywood, so I understood. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. Thank you. Um, but yes, it is Happy Mother's Day in India. So Happy Mother's Day to all of you lovely ladies all across the world. Um, in UK, we had Mother's Day in March, which is really strange because we always have things different. But yes. Um, actually, it's summer. Every day is Mother's Day, actually. 
True. Very good point. That's what I try to tell my kids, but they don't listen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yes, no, it is. You're right. You're right. So yes, thank there you for sharing. Other, there's no voice. other. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, and actually, you know, we must remember that not everyone is blessed with mothers or blessed with lovely mothers. You know, there's a lot of um people who are in awful situations or the you know their mothers passed away or whatever or you know i have worked in sort of um social work roles before and some of the stories you hear are awful with what mums do to their kids and stuff so what i would like to say is that actually if you've had a lovely upbringing you've got a supportive mum you've got a you know a loving mum do not take that for granted because not everyone's lucky to have that you know i'm going to be honest with you they really are not so we are blessed if we have, and even if you don't have, I'm pretty sure you've got mother-like figures in your life. So always respect that, 100%. That's, that's me from my heart. So yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, so this has been an amazing session. I've met some lovely people. Um, you know, you're all really lovely, have your own beautiful qualities. Um, and again, Rashmi G, you know, I'm always in awe of you and inspired by you. So we're definitely, hopefully doing some collaboration work <laughs> to you know to bring more stuff I, I personally have asked for a session on how we can create youtube channels we were having this chit chat before we went live um, i would like to, to know more about that and how to get subscribers and things like that and you know i think that we live in a big world there's a lot of people there's always room to support each other even if you are delivering similar things same things there's enough room for everyone out there to deliver uh, isn't it so we should support make space and encourage each other so that's what i'm going to that's going to be my final words for today and i'm going to hand over to rajmiji <laughs> thank you so much for those lovely words this is what we want to encourage you know let's grow together let's be together let's shine and let's spread each other's shine you know so tomorrow tomorrow what we have at inspiring indian women Ayurveda, A Way of Life by Rama Chande, and she would be hosted by Darshana Shah. And we have whole, whole, loads of events right again uh, this whole entire week. 11th May, we have Prapti Dat with fitness sessions, bodybuilding for women, you know. So, and she will be hosted by Sangeeta Weatherly. So don't forget to keep an eye on Inspiring Indian Women entire week this week. Take care, everybody. Bye for now. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Don't Thank forget you. To like Goodbye, everyone. The channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Good point. Make it. It must reach hundreds like by now. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Dreaming, dreaming big. Dreaming big. Okay. Take care. Bye. Thank bye -bye. you, everyone. Thank Goodbye. You so much. Bye.